Hello and welcome back to the Planet Crafter. Well last time we reached the cloud stage. Yes indeed, clouds are now generating above us in the sky. Now we also had an explore of this canyon area here, behind the wreck. In there we found a new wreck. We also found super alloy generating on the cliffs. So today I think I'm going to start by collecting as much of that super alloy as I can find. Let's have a quick drink here. I'll grab another water bottle because I expect I will probably need to drink again at some point in my life. Now note to self, on the way we're going to pick up as much iron as we can find. Yes, that is a decent amount of iron. And that's good because I have a very specific idea about what I want to do with it. I'm going to test something. Can I make it up here? I can. That's good news. Now then, I want to make a foundation grid. Can I just place it pretty much anywhere? Oh, that's powerful. So they can't overlap. They will need to they will need to snap at some point, but hopefully I'm not sure I can oh, I can. I've made myself a bridge up to the top of these canyons. That is excellent news because now, hopefully, I can simply place one. Oh, I can put one there. Can I then put one beneath me? Yes. And then can I put another one there? Yes. I can bridge across one way, but not the way back, sadly. Ideally, I should have made some more oxygen capsules for this. Oh. Resource Storm or Strange Storm? No, I think Strange Storm. Can't see any resources. Okay, there we are. The storm has passed. I've made some more oxygen, so hopefully I can have an extended trip resource collecting. Luckily, despite the jumping being a bit weak, the platforming is very forgiving. You sort of stick to surfaces as you, as you jump up them. Okay, where is... Ah, there's some. I can see some already. <laughs> yes. And this is presumably aluminium too. <laughs> I'm going to need some sort of order while I search up here because I'm going to get myself real confused real quick. Okay, I've got one more space and then I need to I need to make a box. In fact, I could do with a base up here, really, couldn't I? Yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to spend a couple of those iron that I've collected and I'm just going to make a storage box. Not here because it looks like they need to be inside. Okay, I will make this work. There we go. I can make a base up top, which will serve two functions, really. One, it will give me access to oxygen while I'm up there. And two, it'll give me a place to consolidate all of the aluminium and super alloy that I find for easier retrieval later. In the spirit of easier retrieval, it would make sense to put it here. Yeah. Let's make a storage locker. Perfect. I'm going to wait out the night, I think, because I don't want to miss a single thing. There we are. That is much more clear to see. I feel like my approach to this might be slightly gluttonous, but that's how I like to play. I'm going to do my best to scour every inch and not miss a single piece of super alloy. However, I am stupid and I often forget my way. Oh, I wonder, will a foundation... Oh, I have no iron. Okay, I can continue to wonder without an answer. Let's find me some delicious iron so that I can continue... Yes! To test the foundation theory, because I'm hoping the foundations will allow me to sort of skip gaps and bridge myself across. Remember when aluminium was a problem? I remember. This might not be necessary, but I'm going to build a second one just in case, and that leaves me with five... Oh, <gasps> iron! That's something to test as soon as I'm done with these cliffs. Because I want to place that ore extractor into that there cave, and I want to see if I can generate iridium. I mean, if it generates things like iron, suddenly not having to traverse the overworld looking for specific resources, if they just, like, if they just generate passively, that's going to make things so much quicker. And boy, oh boy, if I can find a way to passively generate aluminium... It's game over. Oh, speaking of rain earlier, here we are. 
I love it. It doesn't look anything like rain, but it's it's so refreshing. I love this. If I just entered from the back, then I could have walked in, grabbed several super alloy, and just walked straight back out. Okay, let's test the foundation theory. Can I place you there? Yes, I can, and I can just get across easily. Oof. This place is going to be an ugly mess, covered in foundations by the time I'm done, but it's worth it. I, I don't mind. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh dear, okay, so there is full damage, by the way. We have successfully discovered full damage, and I'm very glad that the game didn't kill me. I'm gonna run home for a quick restock from the old water. Put that super alloy into my super alloy locker. Ooh, I've got so much aluminium that I'm about to fill up an entire locker of it. Life's good. Ooh, a storage locker up here. Oh, okay. That one was very worth finding. I'm wondering, are the blueprints RNG? Or are they sort of predetermined what they are? My guess would be the latter, because that way the devs could sort of stagger when you find the technology from decoding them. But I'm not sure. Let's take a quick dive there, because my, my oxygen was about to kill me. Uh, I nearly died to food, but I didn't. I survived. Can't take that risk again, though. I don't have enough food for it. I never made the backpack tier 4. I should 100% make that as soon as I get back to base. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I have now grabbed every piece of available super alloy. I may have missed one or two, I often do, but, but from what I can tell, I am now officially rich. Now begins the task of ferrying this back to base. Look how much there is! Good lord. Uh, actually, let's have a look. I need three super alloy and one titanium. Look how many slots that is. That is glorious. And while we're here, we will decode this blueprint. Oh, oh, I mean, that's expensive, but that could be the answer here. That looks like four small ones joined up to one big one, but it's it's way more expensive because it's it costs super alloy than building four of these. So I'm wondering... Will this essentially be four of these, but be completely open? Because if it is, that will be beautiful. Okay, not something I'm going to worry about right now. I'm going to continue to ferry the various things back to base. And then I'm going to go about spending some of my new super alloy. Okay, let's grab the rest of you. And I can fit it all into my backpack because upgrades. Oh, this game looks so good at nighttime with those clouds. Isn't that pretty? It was just enough to fill an entire storage locker. <laughs> so much super alloy. Got some more uranium. I can make a new uranium rod with that amount. I can make another nuclear reactor. And I can make another couple of heaters. Yeah, you know what? I think it's time that we make some more machines. Uh-huh. There we go. Thank you very much. I love that I had the power to do that. I've still got 31.55 kilowatts per hour. Okay, well, I'm now going to make another nuclear reactor. Excellent. We now have two nuclear reactors, which means we've got just a little bit of excess power. And then the other one that I've been neglecting is the drill. So I think we're going to make three more drills. <laughs> yes. So pressure is now going up four times as quickly. Heat is generating just a bit faster, I think an extra 50%. Oxygen is still going up pretty fast. I think it's still my best performer. And that percentage towards the next stage really is going up quickly. Ooh, I was about to suggest we build an ore extractor, but I've never come across osmium before. And it requires an entire iridium rod, which means I 
probably need to sacrifice a heater to build one of these, which wouldn't be a problem if it generates iridium. But osmium? I... I don't know. Okay, I want to take a look at this. This produces oxygen and plants. Plants are what I need to start working on the biodome. I'm going to place one of these down and figure out precisely what it does. I mean, if it literally grows grass, this could make the planet look beautiful. Ooh, it's got a radius. Okay. And I'm not seeing any grass. Ah, growth. 3%. 4%. We'll, we'll let it do its thing. Whilst it does that, let me investigate precisely what happens here. Got it, so the biomass acts essentially as the terraformation index, where these three will likely build the biomass together. Well, we're going to let that tick up in the background and do its own thing. Whoa. Oh my god, it actually is growing grass. Oh my word, is that... Oh, I tell you what, I do not like that pop-in. The LOD distance is a bit extreme. Yeah, like here, I can't see any grass. Oh, oh, I don't like that. No, I'm sorry, if that's the way it's going to look, I have to move it. I cannot see that every time I run through the base. I will be sick. I want you to generate but you're going to do it out of sight. I had a very different idea about how that would work. To be fair, early access. This game runs like a dream. I imagine having grass sprout up everywhere out of the ground would probably make the game tank, so totally fine. Actually, you know what? I might make a few more of those. I hadn't realised they were that effective with oxygen. I didn't really pay much attention. How many seed lermas do I have? I have two more. Oh, that does not look good. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, that, that, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just going to put you all in the corner here. This is the, the ugly corner, which is where I live, but only in private. Oh, that's done fabulous work for the metrics. I want to go and look at this. Because previously I thought that was a cave, but I might be mistaken. No, okay, from up here I can tell it's not a cave. But it is interesting. Ooh, hello. Speaking of interesting, is this ice? Oh. It's definitely not night time. It's definitely not night time yet. Is this a new biome? Ooh. Oh, hello. Is this a new aluminium area? Is this a... Is this a different type of storm? This area is so weird. Oh, oxygen. I need to get back. Oh, am I even going to make it? I think I've made a mistake. Please, 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 please. I know it's low. I know it is. Game, you don't have to tell me. I know. If I can get into the biodome, I'll survive. <sighs> okay. Oh, the storm is so aggressive and horrible looking. It feels so, and this is going to seem like a really silly thing to say, but it feels so otherworldly. Okay, if I'm going to explore that strange thing over there, I need to make a base. Interesting. So entering this area makes makes the, the sky turn to, like, nighttime? Oh, wow, that bloom. Uh, yeah, I'll take the aluminium, I'll take the food, and I'll take the iron. Grab the oxygen, and we'll have a little look around. It's eerie. It's really eerie. That's the only word I can use to describe this place. It's huge, this place. Oh, there's a wreck. Okay, we are definitely going to explore this place in more detail. It is really big. It's deceptively big. Okay, we've done some good work in replenishing the stocks of materials, so... This was definitely worth it, and I love finding things like that. Look at it! It's so imposing. It almost reminds me of Final Fantasy XV. I, I can't really explain why. That dust was very red. Aluminium, you can just get replenished straight away, especially if I find more in that area. Oh, we, we hit the next stage! I didn't even realise. Lakes. 
as in actual water. Okay. As in anywhere with low elevation will be flooded lakes. I think it's about time we clear out the rest of this area. Just in case. Ooh, I can make more grass spreaders because there's more seed lermas. Yeah, these machines probably aren't doing much for me. It's about time we retire them and we can we can spend those resources up there to do better work. Plus, although it's diminishing returns, that will actually translate into slightly more power as well. And we can take that heater tier 2 as well. The game suddenly seems brighter. I might be imagining it. Everything just seems to have a little bit more vibrance and life to it. Oh, my stocks of materials are starting to look amazing again. Can I deconstruct anything in here? Yep, I can take you. I can't take anything here. That's fine. I mean, I may as well grab these resources while I'm here, because some of these have stuff in them. And it's just, it's just free iron, isn't it? At the end of the day. It is much easier to see and navigate when everything's clear. Oh wow, there's loads! Good gracious, I'm actually missing out on a lot of resources if I don't do this. Iron is now pretty much full, let's take those out. The golden penis can go into the fabric container because that makes sense. The more I think about it, the more I think the, the early game design here is actually really, really clever. The way the game introduces mechanics to you and the environment that you start in down here, I think it really sets you up perfectly. You know, the first thing you're naturally going to do is go to this wreck up here because you'll notice it and it's close by. And you'll, you'll find some useful things and you start to build up your machines. And naturally, when you get a bit braver, you'll start to explore up there and that's where you find the Iridium Cave. The, the other wreck, you find the, well, the super alloy and all that stuff. You find the cool area that we just found with all the aluminium, the wibbly stuff. And there is this area to the back that I haven't looked at yet. That might be worth a go. I just want to have one more really good look around this area to make sure I've not missed any storage chests or any secrets. <gasps> Another 600%. Oh my god. Gracious, another golden penis. And then we get some extra super alloy as well. Oh, good. Uh, oh, I'm so glad I did this. How many of those are scattered around the world? I could have found that, like, immediately. It wouldn't have really helped because, you know, at the start of the game, those things aren't very helpful. But, oh, they're so exciting to find. Okay, well, it looks like I found most of the stuff in this area. Yeah, this is looking good. I'll tell you what I want to do. I'm going to take a quick jaunt up through that part of the world and see if I've missed anything cool. The fact that it's situated at the back of the starting area makes me feel like that was a sort of a secondary path I could have taken. So I'm going to take some resources to make a base there. At least, you know, enough that I can, I can get there safely with the oxygen. I'm... God, I really want to go on a hunt for some of those golden chests, but I, I feel like I should play the game instead. Ooh, ooh, hello. Another seed lerma. That's another grass spreader right there. Take you for the oxygen. I'll definitely take the aluminium. And yep, let's go ahead and take the other silicon and some iron. Ooh. Okay, the visibility just immediately disappeared. Whoa, these monolith looking things. Is that a wreck? Oh, I think it is. Two. What's... Ooh. Oh, I'm liking that. Okay, I can't quite get to the back there. Yep, yeah, let's make a base right here. More seeds. A 300% multiplier. It is my lucky day. More seeds! Th that's a seed lerma. I'm taking it. These, like, spires, they look so cool. Ah, okay. So this loops back around behind the Wibbly place. I can now make a biolab? 
So I might I might run back through the, the Wibbly place, because that takes me back to base. Let me see if I can try and grab this other chest. There we go. Super Alloy and Iridium, yes please, and a Lerma. We love the Lerma. Ooh, hello. Is this another Iridium cave? I can make more heaters! Okay, I don't- I do not have the space for this right now, but I will 100% be coming back here. Yeah, okay, so there's an Iridium cave, just like if I'd gone north. If I'd gone- where would we be? Sort of southwest instead. No, sorry, southeast. I would have ended up here. There's an Iridium cave for early Iridium, and then you sort of roughly get to the wibbly bit over this way around this corner at, at a similar time. So yes, this seems to be a secondary path I could have taken to get where I needed to be. Back to base, I'm going to spend the resources that I've found. I'm going to make another heater, and I'm going to make some more grass spreaders. I might need to increase my power if I'm going to do all that, but that's fine. Oh, this just got exciting. First things first, let's do the grass spreaders. I can make five more, because I have five more seed lermas. So I think that's the route that I'm going to go. This can be the green corner. And there we have it. Oh dear, yeah, okay. Lovely. That is much better. Let's have a look and see what that's done to my power and to my metrics. Power, okay, I've still got 51 kilowatts per hour available, which means I can make another heater with no issues. Oh, that's looking nice. This does appear to be going up a little bit faster too. Good stuff. Okay, let's make the heater. Can you imagine how hot this room would actually be? Back in the Wibbly place, I'm going to collect some aluminium and I'm going to explore just a little bit more. Okay, decent amount of aluminium so far. I am now trained to look with my eagle eyes at every nook and cranny. If there are any secrets here, I will find them. Every piece of aluminium belongs to me and me alone. Oh god, I completely forgot about oxygen. I've... Oh, and my food and my water. Oh no, I'm not clever. Okay, new plan. Run back to base, grab some water, make some oxygen capsules, and then explore in safety. By the way, I have a sneaky suspicion that this is going to become a river. Because this looks very much like a bridge. And it looks like water's going to be flowing. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's another heater I can make. And we have another 600% oxygen multiplier seed. Yes, I, I think that's going to be a river. And I want to find every single golden chest in existence. Also, this golden effigy doesn't look like a penis. This is a different one. I will build them at some point, but not yet. I'm going to save that for something special. By the way... Ah, no, I did not deconstruct this. I absolutely should, because that's free super alloy and free aluminium. Okay, let's build one of you. Just there. Now we can explore in peace and safety, and whatever we find, we can keep. Hello, microchip. We like you indeed. Okay, perhaps the door is on the other side. Yes, it is. Only a couple of chests in this one. Iridium, that might be enough to make a new iridium rod, by the way. That is incredible. Let's go and dump this stuff into the storage locker, and we can search the other side. Oh, and look, the map extends, like, beyond here. Though that could be the border. That kind of looks like the edge of the map there. <gasps> Hello, Backpack Tier 5. Well, guess what we're doing the second we get back to base. 
Oh, there is one here. I can make it. I can. <laughs> I can make another nuclear reactor. Another one of these. Another golden penis. And another super alloy. Oh, this game is just magnificent. At the time of playing this, it is the 1st of April, 2023. And this, so far, is my game of the year. Yep, I think that's it. What a cool biome. This, it looks fantastic. It's, it's got a great atmosphere. It's given us some really good rewards. Yeah, props. Props, props, props. And this is just beautiful. I think I can actually make two more heaters with the amount of iridium I have now. Okay, let's do the next microchip. A shredder machine destroys objects placed inside. Explosive powder and osmium. So there's still quite a few materials for me yet to discover. Why would you want to destroy an object? Ooh, oxygen tank tier four. I'm still wearing the tier three. Yep, I should upgrade that immediately. Let's see, what do I get? 370. That's going to last me ages. Beautiful. So I can make three more heaters. I might have the space, but only for those. I don't have the space. Okay, let's, let's expand this building outwards by one. That's better. Awesome. What's my power looking like now? Because I was at quite a difficult spot. No, I've still got 68 kilowatts available. I'll tell you what, we could build this now. I've been holding off on the communication antenna. Let's put you there. How much power did that use, by the way? Minus 15, not too bad. Which means, in theory, I now have access to communications. This is an automated message to convict GP8971L. You have been chosen to commute your sentence into an extradition. In order to be released of all the charges pending against you, you must fully terraform this planet. Our sensors will periodically scan your progress and will send you the required blueprints. Do not try to contact Sentinel Corps in any case. If our sensors do not detect any advancement on the terraformation process, you will be considered missing. The charges will not be dropped. You cannot claim property or value over anything on the planet. You are only allowed to use the resources found on the planet to increase the terraformation index. You are not allowed to leave this planet until the terraformation is complete. So we're a prisoner. Well, we're a convict. And terraforming this planet, that is our sentence. What did we do? This is literally a punishment. I mean, this is the most fun I've ever had while being punished in my life. My curiosity is getting the better of me. I want to explore those spires. Oh. Actual water. I am so glad I moved the base. If this is where the lake's going to be, it makes perfect sense because elevation, but it's real liquid water. Oh, the way it reflects off the sky. Is this whole thing going to be underwater? Oh, this would have been so much worse having a look at this area when it was flooded. Have I just made a lakeside property? It's going to be worth millions. Okay, we'll think more about that in a bit. I want to go and have a look and see what I can find up here. Because, yeah, the visibility, like, all but disappears up here. But... This is what the whole game looked like at the beginning. This horrible, hazy filter. So I'm wondering if this might be based on progress. Like terraformation index. In which case, I might be doing things in the wrong order. But I want to try something. Because I noticed a difference a couple of episodes ago. And I want to see if that difference has become more stark or whether it's stayed the same. Because I have a theory. Who's texting me? Message from Riley. Hello, I finally managed to locate the system they sent you to. I don't have much time, but I'll try to give you some advice. The success rate of planet crafters is so low because it's nearly an impossible task. 
You should find space food in your pod and maybe in some wrecks. Um, a bit late for that, Riley, but I appreciate the sentiment. Ooh, why is everything so bright? Maybe these storms are representing some sort of change in the planet's atmosphere. Like, there's a good chance that I'm triggering these by what I'm doing. Maybe they don't mean anything, they're just a consequence of what I'm doing here. My theory, I think, is correct then, because this ship was completely obscured by sandy nonsense. Now I can totally see it, and one, it's huge, it's much bigger than that one, and number two, I'm pretty sure what's happening here. As my terraformation index goes up, the world is going to start providing clarity in areas that I should go next. It's quite a nice organic way to sort of steer me in another direction. Okay, so let's make a base right here. Grab some oxygen and we're going to go into that wreck with loads of space and loads of oxygen. We've got two ways to go in here. Brilliant. Ooh, a ladder. Oh, this is going to be a big one. I've got some spare oxygen, so this should be nice to explore. We found some sulphur. I think that's the first sulphur so far. Ooh, we've got some seeds here. Eggplants. I mean, I've already got some of those. Not super fussed about that. Beans. I don't think I've got beans. Interesting. The fact that it's giving me so many seeds. This implies that I'm going to need to grow lots of them. Or maybe they're perishable? I don't know. Definitely take the iridium and the aluminium. Uh, yep, that's another heater right there. And I'm going to start dropping everything I find into here. This way I can pick up the seeds too. Because, yeah, the fact that I can find so many has me quite suspicious. Okay, let's go down the right-hand side and see what we've got. Seed Lerma. More uranium. I might have enough to make a uranium rod now, you know. Another ladder. This time that's going up. Hello, seeds! Oh, the Nolners are the good ones. Oh no, the Tuskers are even better. 400%. Hello, blueprints! You nearly, you nearly snuck away from me. There's probably going to be an extra use for those seeds. Ooh, another fusion reactor. Yes, another blueprint. Because the uses that I've found so far have been pretty lacking. That's another heater. Bioplastic nugget. Right, okay. That's another material that I've never heard of. Happy with that. Let's go and grab the rest and we'll start taking things back to base. Because if that's Riley texting me again, he just can't get enough. Oh, and another Seed Lerma. Yep, that appears to be it for now. That's quite a lot. I have a sneaky suspicion that whenever I can activate those fusion reactors, I'm going to be creating something crazy on the planet. Let's take the super alloy and the iridium and the uranium back for now. We are absolutely not done exploring this area, but for now, that's probably what I'm going to grab. Nearly 10% on this lake. That's definitely two more heaters right there. And that's another nuclear reactor. Super alloy's barely gone down because I'm finding it at such a good rate as I'm spending it. A mapping screen. Ooh, proper navigation. An actual overview of where I am. Yes, please. <gasps> where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, I need explosive powder. I don't have access to that, but I need that upgrade. Oh, what a tease. Okay, well, you know what? That is more than enough for now. I'll take a drink before I die. This has been a great episode. We've unlocked a lot. We've discovered a lot, and it seems like there's way more to discover as well. But they are for future episodes, and I cannot wait. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I certainly enjoyed playing it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. 24 of you. Wait. Oh, no! During my interrogation of this poor chatbot, I actually came up with an idea. What if I asked ChatGPT how I should market my video? Immediately, the stack disappeared. Oh!